the Shredder's number one left fielder. Oh my goodness, Christian Yelich, an absolute rocket. Yelich has gone next level as a brewer. The throw home, not in time. Yelich with an inside the park home run. No doubt off the bat that that one was going to fly off the scoreboard. Yelich has done it again. Unbelievable. Boy, that ball just kept on carrying. Yelich lays it, and he makes the catch. You talk about the most plus player in our sport, Christian Yelich is that guy. Christian Yelich is number one, and yeah, it was a strange season, and Yelich fell from the stratospheric heights of his previous two years. He hit just 205 last year, but he walked enough and hit the ball hard enough to salvage a 111 OPS+. Plus. His average exit velocity, in fact, was second best in all of baseball. Figure that out. So, if we widen the sample, realize that Yelich is still only going into his age 29 season, and we get a better picture of where he is. That's a superstar with a 400 on base and almost a 600 slugging percentage over the last three years. In that span, Yelich has the second best weighted runs created, plus second best slugging percentage and second best ex Woba in all of baseball. You know, it's funny, Mark, um, we kind of got used to that, that theme of Christian Yelich is struggling. Christian Yelich is having a terrible season. I looked at his numbers. Yeah. yeah, he hit 205, right? Not good, but that wasn't a total washout. And when you combine it with the last year or the year before that, I mean, this guy's just hit another level. Are you concerned at all about last year with Yelich? No, I'm not going to be concerned with a BK. I think 2020, the pandemic, everything, it was such a, a testament to these players to even get through the season. And I think there are things to be said about the fact that, I, hey, I was a video monster myself. I was going in after every AB and checking everything out. And I think when your routine is taxed the way it had to be taxed for these players. It's going to affect everybody differently. I think Christian got bit by that bug. I think he got off to a slow start. I think he got in his head a little bit watching him. What I watched was a guy who was kind of not even, it wasn't even his swing as much as it was his game planning. He was taking a lot of early called strikes, finding himself 01, 02 a lot. And I think it just spiraled downward. So, no, BK, I think he comes out of it with a fresh start to spring training and, and right back to justifying why he's number one. Yeah, look, it, it, we have the process stats now. He hit the ball harder than, than anyone in the game except for one player, and that was, that was Fernando Tatis. Otherwise, you know, he, he's hitting it harder than, than anyone else in the game.